Are you looking to sell courses but you need membership functionality? No problem. I have a solution for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use MemberPress to sell your online courses. Hi, I'm Ben, co-founder of WP Courseware, the leading course plugin for WordPress. And on this YouTube channel, we talk about tips, tutorials, and strategies for creating and selling online courses. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing below. All the resources mentioned in this video will be available in the description below. All right, let's get into it. I frequently get questions from my customers about recommendations for membership plugins. MemberPress is one of my personal favorites and I frequently recommend this to our customers. The really cool thing is that WP Courseware has a full integration with MemberPress. If you are on the hunt for a membership plugin, I'd advise you to check out MemberPress. Just look for a link in the description below. In this demonstration, I'm going to make several assumptions. First, I'm going to assume that MemberPress is installed and activated and configured on your website. I'm also going to assume that WP Courseware is installed and activated on your site. I'm also going to assume that the MemberPress add-on for WP Courseware is installed and activated. We'll talk about configuring and all that later in the video. I'm going to assume that you have at least one MemberPress product published and that you also have at least one course published with WP Courseware. Okay, just a couple more things to remember. Keep in mind that MemberPress will be doing all of the heavy lifting for shopping cart, checkout, login forms, as well as the account page. Now, WP Courseware does have functionality for all of this built in. However, we don't recommend using any of the native functionality to avoid possible confusion or conflicts. Okay, so let's get into the demo. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to quickly cover is the plugins I have installed. I know I already made the assumptions mentioned prior in this video. However, uh, you'll notice we have MemberPress, we have WP Courseware, and we have the WP Courseware MemberPress add-on all activated. Now, I do have a MemberPress membership level called Product A, and I also have a WP Courseware course called Test Course 1. I also have test course two, and uh, that will come into play a little bit later on. Um, but obviously you only need one course to get started. Okay, so the only other thing to mention is that this menu item, member press down here under WP Courseware, this option only gets enabled if and when you have the member press add-on for WP Courseware activated. Otherwise, this menu item will not be present. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on member press. Now you'll notice here in this screen, you'll see that we have our product listed and you'll notice also that we have two courses available. However, you'll see the little red X next to each course, which indicates that that course is not associated with product A. So the idea here is to associate products with courses. So to change that, we want to click edit course access settings here on the right hand side. And now we've got an option to associate one or both courses with that product. For this part of the demonstration, I'm just going to select one course and I'm going to go ahead and click Save Changes. Now you will notice there is another option here about assigning a course retroactively to customers. And that option I'm going to demonstrate a little bit later in this video. So for now, we are just going to associate Test Course 1 with Product A. Okay, cool. Now what we need to do is we actually need to test to make sure this works. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up an incognito window here and you'll notice we have product A. So I just need to fill out this information here. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and click sign up. Now I do have this already set up with Stripe test. So I'm just going to enter a bogus credit card number. and a zip code. Okay, so now let's go ahead and click Submit. And it looks like our payment went through. So now, uh, one other feature I'd like to point out is I have an account page set up here. The account page is the native account page for MemberPress, not WP Courseware. Uh, so let's go ahead and click on the account page here and you'll notice that we have all of the uh, pages uh, associated with MemberPress. So we have subscriptions, payments, 
One new feature that we have for the add-on is we've added this option here to view your courses that you are enrolled into. So you'll notice we purchased test course one, which was associated with product A, and so now we have test course one associated. Okay, cool. So now let's go back to our admin and let's take a look at the retroactive assignment. So now let's just say that I created test course two, like I just created that after the fact. So after test course one was created and purchased by Bob, I created test course two. And so now what we want to do is retroactively assign this because Bob purchased product A and I built test course two for product A and I want to make sure that Bob gets access to test course two, even though he's already purchased product A. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and select test course two. I'm going to change this uh, radio button from no to yes, and we'll go ahead and click save changes. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and verify this in a couple different places. First, we're gonna go down to the students page and just make sure that Bob is enrolled into both courses, which he is, test course one and test course two. And we can also verify that on the courses tab here. So we'll just do a quick refresh. And you'll notice we have test course two. He's enrolled into both courses. If you found this tutorial useful, please consider subscribing below. Click that bell for notifications. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out.